Several of you guys have requested that I make a video about how to thread a sewing machine, but there can be a lot of variation between different brands and models, so you should definitely read your instruction manual or look one up online if you want more exact instructions. I am currently working with a Brother Innovis 40 machine, and this is how I thread it. So first you're going to need to thread a bobbin. Sewing machines take thread from two different places and the bobbin is one of them. So if you're gonna want to put your spool of thread, for me it has to come from underneath the spool and then add the stopper so it doesn't come off. And then the sewing machines that I've dealt with are numbered. Number one is putting the thread in this little metal thing. Number two is wrapping it around this corner. And then for bobbins, I'm gonna go around this little weird thing and then I'm gonna take a bobbin. This is the kind that works for my machine. You have to make sure that you get the correct kind of bobbin and attach it to this little guy over here. Sorry that I don't know the uh, technical terms for this. And then I have to wind the bobbin a little bit and then it actually has a little bleed on here so I'm gonna cut the thread. Then I snap this over here to tell the machine that I'm gonna be threading a bobbin. And then I'm going to step on my foot pedal this will fill up the bobbin. And when my machine's done, it stops automatically, so I cut the thread, and now that I have a full bobbin, I'm gonna have to put it in the bottom of the sewing machine. My machine's really easy, I just snap it in, wind it around these little marked arrows, and then there's a blade in here as well, so it, it automatically cuts the thread for me. And then I just add this little top back on here. Next, I'm going to thread the top of the machine using the spool that's already in here, so I'm gonna undo it. So once your spool is already in here, tuck it under this little metal piece for number one, wrap it around the corner for number two. Number three, you pull the thread down on this line, and then wrap it around the bottom following the arrows. And then number four, tuck it around this little metal piece, and back down again for number five. Number six is back here, it's this little thick piece of wire. Tuck the string around and make sure it's in place, and then all that's left to do is thread the needle. So I have a little automatic threader down here, which doesn't always work, but it worked that time. Cool, and then pull the thread through and stick it in the back. So then you are all ready to put in some sort of fabric. Lower the presser foot and then push the pedal and it goes. So funny story, <laughs> since I actually filmed the first part of this video, I ended up buying a second sewing machine. So I actually do get a chance to show you how to thread a different machine from the first one I showed you. It's pretty similar in the way that they label everything on the machine. So I'll show you how these machines can have slight differences between them. So my new machine actually has a little cover, so when you lift this up, you can see all of the stuff you need to thread it. This right here is actually where you would thread the bobbin on this machine, but I already have one threaded, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to the next part. So first I need to put the spool of thread onto this part, and the thread is supposed to come out from the bottom. I add this little part in order to keep it from falling off. And then I just follow the numbers around. So this is number one right here. Follow the arrows around. This is part number two. It comes around this corner and underneath. Hook it around number three, bring it back up. Hook it around number four. And then your thread comes back down here again to number five. Now it's a little bit hard to see, but number six is actually right back here. So the thread comes right in here right in there like that. Now this new machine actually has an automatic needle threader. In order to use this, you have to put down the presser foot and then you follow the thread over to this number seven. Number eight is a little blade over on the side here which cuts your thread for you. And then to automatically thread the needle, you push down this lever at number nine. And that perfectly threaded your needle and all you have to do is push the thread underneath the presser foot. And inserting the bobbin is exactly the same as my other machine. You just Drop it in, follow the little arrows, and cut the thread. And then put the top back on, and you are ready to go. Starting out on a sewing machine can definitely be intimidating, but once you figure it out, it gets a lot easier, and it saves you loads of time. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more suggestions for videos like this in the comments, and I will see you soon.